see in your energy pick up a little bit, confidence pick up after that win on Saturday? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, We're in finals this week, so we got a lot of guys scrambling to get stuff done and you know finish up everything. Uh, kind of a pressure-packed week. So, um, no, I, you know, we needed a win after a couple of disappointing games in Florida. So uh, it, it did definitely help. Looks like Mookie's got a practice jersey on. Is he starting to get able to move around a little bit? No, no he just wanted to dress up today. So uh, he, he is working out a little bit, but uh, still not ready to go. Talk a little bit about what he's seen with Rigsby lately. I'm sorry. Sorry, he talked a little bit about what he's seen with Rigsby lately. Uh, you know, he, he really played well. Um, against Michigan. He graded out really high offensively and defensively. Um, you know, we just need him to play with confidence, keep shooting it when he has open looks. Uh, defensively, he's got to get a little bit of that same energy. You know, he, he hangs back a little bit. I don't think he uses his athleticism enough sometimes on the defensive end. So I'd like to see him do that a little bit more, especially on the boards. Uh, but he, he really played well against Michigan. I feel like Mo has just progressed since his role has gotten significantly bigger. He, he's done a great job. Uh, I don't know where we'd be without him with, with both Nate and, and Dante down, uh, Mookie not playing. Um, you know, KJ didn't re rebound very well the other day. So uh, Mo has been our most physical player. And, uh, you know, whatever we need, he tries to do. So. Couldn't be happier with him. Great kid, and love working with him. And you know, all his teammates really like working with him. He's been a big addition. You seen his confidence maybe just go up simply just by knowing he's. he's gonna oh, I, I think so. You know, I mean, he he knows he's got to play. You know, that that helps anybody. Uh, so, uh, but no, he's he's worked hard ever since day one. You know, I've had uh, no hesitation to put him in at all. Uh, you know, he's been banged up a little bit. He plays through it. You know, he's, he's done a tremendous job. Have you seen Kwame adjusting to a little more, a few more minutes at the five, and you guys are probably anticipating him playing at the start of the year? Yeah, I mean, uh, but we've changed our offense, so, you know, when he's in there, it's a five out game. It's not really, it's not like we're posting him up much. Uh, you know, so it, it's not that big a change. Uh, he does get some matchup uh, advantages, you know, with bigger five men out on the perimeter. So it should be to his advantage on the offensive end. Uh, so he's really got to change his, you know, his physicality on the defensive end and on the boards. And uh, he's working on it, uh, but he does have to get more physical uh, on the defensive end and, and much more physical on the boards. We see Jesse with the boo on the even kind of timeline for his return. Uh, no, no, I, I don't know uh, what it is. Um, uh, you know, he hadn't practiced uh, for a couple weeks now, so well, since Florida, he's been in. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. Any thoughts on UTEP on Saturday, a team that's already uh, beaten a Pac-12 team? This year? Yeah, they uh, are very athletic, uh, really aggressive defensively. Uh, we're going to have to be really strong with the ball. Uh, they're six and three, and uh, force eight over 18 turnovers a game. You know, so again, ball handling, uh, handling their pressure will be really important. And then defensively and on the boards, they're a plus four on the boards. You know, they're a good rebounding team, uh, play a lot of guys. And, and so, yeah, we're, we're going to have to play well. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, we, we gave a lot of energy in the Michigan game. The great crowd was great. We're going to need that same type of effort, same type of energy uh, to beat a very good UTEP team. What's your read on the Pac-12 so far this year through seven or so games? Uh, you know, Arizona's really good from what, you know, I, I, I haven't seen him play uh, yet, but obviously they're number one in the country and beat a couple of really good teams. Um, so they've played awfully well. Um, you know, UCLA, I think is, is really good. Washington has had some impressive games. Um, you know, Colorado's really good. They got a lot of players back, and, and uh, I think they've lost one game, but they've done really well. So I watched Stanford a lot getting ready uh, for the Michigan game because they played Michigan down in, in the Bahamas. So uh, they're really talented and, and really shooting the ball well. So, no, I, Utah's playing well. Um, it's it's going to be a competitive, competitive race. You talked about 
beginning, end of last season, this team needed to get better at shooting the three ball. And seven games in, I realized there's still a lot left to play. But starting to figure out who's doing what, and it feels like your numbers are up you know, across the board with multiple guys. And how do you think just shot the ball from three? Well, we shot a little better. You know, Brennan being healthy helps. You know, that's what we brought him in here for a year ago. And struggled with injuries, so I don't know if he ever really got on track. You know, he missed a bunch of games early and didn't start playing until December and, and then re-injured it a couple times, so he really struggled, but, you know, he's healthy now and shooting good. Uh, Jermaine shot it okay last year. Uh, isn't quite on track this year, but hit a big one the other day. Uh, we knew, you know, Jackson was a really good shooter. Uh, Bam shot it okay, Cario shot it okay. So guys we brought in, you know, we thought were solid three-point shooters. I don't know if any of them were great three-point shooters, but everybody was solid. Uh, you know, and we were pretty conservative the other day on our threes, but everything was penetration kick inside out. And because of that, the percentages were a little higher. We didn't take any off the dribble, you know, which is traditionally a, a better shot for a college player and most pros. And so I thought our penetration kicks were pretty good and made shots for each other, especially like Jermaine, I know had three assists on three threes, you know, just getting in the paint and making, making really good play. Do you feel like the shot selections just improved then too? Well, I didn't, I didn't think we took any bad ones, you know. Um, so that, you know, really helps. I thought our guys were, like I said, maybe a little too conservative. I, Looking in the film, I thought there were a couple chances, you know, for us to take some more. Um, but again, most of them were off the pass, which, you know, I really like to see guys making plays for each other. And I think that's usually a little higher percentage three. We talked last week about kind of exploring all avenues to potentially add a player with Don Pan Biddle out. Has there been any sort of update on that or any sort of? Uh, we're still just swinging away. We got a couple weeks here. Uh, we, we end our quarter um, Friday, and, and so, you know, that until January 8th or 9th when we start the second, you know, uh, the winter quarter, you know, we've got a little time there to maybe try to get somebody in. Um, so we're looking at some different guys, uh, but nothing to report. Jackson's got a couple games under his belt now. How do you feel he's progressing and getting used to the college life and just playing at this level? Uh, good. You know, he's, he's, you know, sitting out a month. You know, he, he didn't pay attention like he should have a little bit. And uh, so he, he needs to get some of our sets back and pay a little more attention. But, uh, no, he's, Jackson's, you know, I think he's going to grow into a really good player. He's a good player now, but I, I think there's so much more in front of him. Got to get a little bigger, a little stronger, and that'll come with, with age in the weight room. And uh, but his instincts are so good. And, you know, he dumps that one to Mo in overtime. You know, he just took a dribble. The guys, every you know, the ball just out of his hands. He didn't take an extra dribble like so many guards will take. You know, I mean, ball just gets out of his hands. Good, and uh, he's a good shooter. Good, good feel. He hit a couple nice drives to start the second half that we really needed. And uh, so. He's going to keep getting better and better, I think. He works pretty hard. He, he listens really good. So uh, he wants to be a player. So, you know, that's, that's a big, big part of it. What, what does the next step look like for him, aside from getting the set stats? What do you want to see from him between now and the start conference play? Oh, you know, just a little bit more focused defensively. You know, he lost his focus a little bit. I think part of that's conditioning because he was out so long. Uh, but he's, he's got to get a little more focused on the defensive end. Um, that same focus to, to run the offense, you know, on the offensive end and get our sets down. He's uh, got to do a little better job on the boards. We all do. I mean, when, when we're undersized now, I don't think he got a rebound the other day. You know, he, he's got a rebound. Everybody's got a rebound. You know, just what it is without Dante out there getting 20. You know, we, we need somebody to get them, you know. So, uh, but that's everybody. That's all our guys. That's just not Jackson, you know. All our guys need to rebound better, and uh, it's going to be a common theme for us uh, you know, until we either get Dante back or you know, we play small, whatever. You know, just you know, rebounding is going to be a big, big focus. Is that as simple as just getting a body on somebody, or is there, is there anything sort of system-wise that's hurting uh, you guys right now? 
getting a body and then just going to get in that ball, you know, running down long ones. You know, that's where guards can really help. You know, the, the three ball is such a big part of the game. Long shot, long rebound, you know, short shot, short rebound, you know. So those long threes, you know, our guards got to run them down. You know, we're not doing a good job of that. So uh, too many times we're leaving the fight, trying to get our break started. And pretty hard to run without the ball. So, uh, you know, we, we got to get it first. Last question. All right, thank you. All right, yeah.